After skin cancer, breast cancer is the most commonly diagnosed cancer in women in the United States. Hi, I'm Dr. Amy Commander. I'm the medical director of the Mass General Cancer Center at Mass General Waltham and director of the Breast Oncology Program at Newton Wellesley Hospital. So, what is breast cancer? Breast cancer can begin in any part of the breast. It occurs when malignant or cancerous cells grow and multiply out of control. The breast is made up of lobules and ducts. Cancer that starts in the cells of the ducts is known as invasive ductal carcinoma and is the most common type of breast cancer. Cancer that begins in the lobules is called invasive lobular carcinoma. A combination of factors can contribute to breast cancer risk, but most breast cancers are found in women who are 50 years or older. Although it is rare, men can get breast cancer too. Breast cancer symptoms include a lump or swelling near the breast, including under the arm, a change in the size or shape of the breast, thickening of the breast tissue, nipple inversion, in which case the nipple is pulled inward, nipple discharge, particularly if bloody, breast pain or tenderness, puckering or dimpling of the breast skin, or scaliness or redness of the breast skin or nipple. Breast self-examination and body awareness are important for your health and wellness. It's important that you are aware of your own body, so if you notice a change, you know what to do about it. The breast self-exam is another tool you can use to take charge of your own health. If you do notice a lump, don't panic. Most lumps turn out to be benign or non-cancerous. If you do notice a lump, it's a good idea to make an appointment with your primary care physician or gynecologist for a physical exam and mammogram. Doctors most commonly check for breast cancer using a breast exam or a screening mammogram, which is a low-dose x-ray of the breast. Depending on your risk factors, the American Cancer Society recommends that you and your doctor may decide to begin regular screenings starting at age 40. Women aged 45 to 54 should get mammograms every year, whereas women 55 and older can switch to mammograms every other year or continue with annual screening. Other organizations recommend women start screenings sooner. For example, the U.S. Preventive Services Task Force now recommends that all women get screened for breast cancer starting at age 40. If you have a family history of breast cancer, you may also be a candidate for genetic testing. Your treatment depends on many factors, such as the type and stage of breast cancer, your general health, and your treatment preferences. There is a multidisciplinary approach for treatment of breast cancer. Treatment options may include surgery, often radiation therapy, sometimes chemotherapy, sometimes anti-estrogen or endocrine therapy, sometimes targeted therapy or immunotherapy, and clinical trials are always considered. A breast cancer diagnosis can be scary, but the five-year survival rate for breast cancer is now well over 90%. At Mass General Brigham, we continue to pioneer new research that brings the latest and most advanced treatment options to our patients. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Amy Commander. To learn more about other types of cancer, click here. And don't forget to subscribe.